Superhero movies are chock full of high-flying action, shocking moments, and lately, plenty of humor. But for all the jokes that actually make it into the final cut, there are plenty more that remain on the cutting room floor. Thankfully, there's the blooper reel, the time-honored tradition of capturing those moments when actors goof off or screw up. From comic book references to slick dance moves, here are bloopers that will make you love superhero movies even more. Blooper sense tingling. With Spider-Man Homecoming, Tom Holland gave audiences the third live-action Spider-Man franchise in 15 years. Considering how familiar audiences were with the character, the filmmakers wisely veered away from dwelling on the webhead's origin story. Still, that didn't stop Holland from putting a reference in the blooper reel. When Peter Parker attempts to tell a teacher why he can't commit any more time to a school activity because of his involvement with Tony Stark, Holland makes a clever callback to one of the most famous lines in Spider-Man history. I, I got a lot of um, responsibility with it. With great power comes great responsibility. With great power comes great comic book knowledge. Super movies need super glue. Black Panther stars Chadwick Boseman as King T'Challa, the titular Black Panther, a hero empowered by the heart-shaped herb and a connection to the spiritual realm. The movie, meanwhile, was empowered by a script that was just as much about a fascinating villain, Michael B. Jordan's Eric Killmonger. I want the throne. Still, regardless of how deep the characters are, action movies need stuff to get blown up. In one scene, it's up to Killmonger to attach some explosives to a building. But the blooper reel reveals that it definitely took a few tries. You'd think Marvel could afford better prop glue. Strange things are afoot. Doctor Strange is one of the strangest Marvel Comics properties, and effectively bringing the character to the screen required the involvement of a very serious actor. Benedict Cumberbatch ended up being exactly what the Doctor ordered, so to speak. And he brings real gravitas to Doctor Stephen Strange, a guy who can use magic and tap into the powers of mystical entities in his fight against evil. Doctor Strange. Oh, I'm using your made-up names. Then I am Spider-Man. Still, despite the importance of the actor, the importance of the character, and the importance of his mission, sometimes all Cumberbatch can do is just dance. <sighs> After seeing that, we kind of wish some of these sweet dance moves had made it into the film. Thor meets Floor Thor Ragnarok, the third entry in the MCU film franchise about Chris Hemsworth's titular Norse deity, mixed up the formula a little bit. Under the direction of Taika Waititi, the movie is more of a comedy about superheroes than a straightforward superhero movie. But if I'm being honest, when it comes to fighting evil beings, he is very powerful and useful. Yeah, Banner's powerful and useful too. Is he though? Still, for all the jokes and physical comedy that made it into the actual movie, there were plenty that were relegated to the gag reel. While trying to get out the line, a wise king never seeks power, Hemsworth can't walk and talk at the same time and get stymied by an errant step. The wise king never seeks out. <laughs> it's one step every time that gets me. Seems like the god of thunder isn't the god of descending staircases. Stormy relationship. While filming a scene for X-Men Days of Future Past, Halle Berry and Hugh Jackman were supposed to exchange some soft words and a tender goodbye kiss. Well, basically, I'm the only one who's gonna remember any of this, right? Berry's obviously been waiting for this moment for a really long time. Oh, See you later. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Click the looper icon to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Plus, check out all this cool stuff we know you'll love too.